Hey everyone, this is Dylan with Frontier Precision, and in today's Tech Talk I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a demonstration of the new Measure Codes mode within Trimble Business Center version 5.40. So you're going to notice in the CAD ribbon the uh, traditional Create Point tool. That command opens up, we now have Measure Codes mode, and that's designed to look exactly like it is in Trimble Access. We have uh, various feature code groups here to choose from uh, depending on how your uh, feature code library is built and designed. Um, and then a few other features here that I'll get into. So um, if you are someone who does, who does not have a feature code library yet, um, you can go under the survey tab and click the new feature library button. That will allow you to start uh, designing a new feature library here within Trimble Business Center. Um, you could also open up uh, Feature Definition Manager if uh, you'd like to design it within the traditional Feature Definition Manager program itself. Okay, so once you import a feature code library FXL file, you'll find that here in, feature, uh, in Project Explorer under Feature Libraries. You can see here I have this Global Features Feature Code Library and I have various groups built within here. So um, this groups node is specifically um, what, uh, what is populated here on the right for our code groups. Uh, so you can see I added in a new feature code group and have started adding feature codes here. If I want to edit this feature code group, I would just come down here to the edit button. And you can see here I have all my code groups to pick from for editing. I can change the button layout from a 3x3 up to a 5x5. Five five. And then I can also use a template just like in Trimble Access, such as a zigzag if I'm shooting topo um, across the street um, and I want it to template out all of my brake lines. So to edit a code box here, we can go ahead and just click in an empty box and this for instance I want to do my edge of pavement click OK here I want my start uh, my start control code so I can start and stop uh, line strings at various um, at various positions and um, let's just do uh, back a curve Okay, so very easy to add codes, edit any of these codes um, here within the Measure Codes Editor. If you need to add a new group, there's just a new group button there. Uh, has you enter in a new group name and then you can go ahead and start filling out those boxes as needed. Okay, so um, now it's time to start measuring some points uh, using my Measure Codes mode. So where I'm going to begin here is just an edge of pavement on this road, this is some scan data from an X7 scanner. Um, so this is a very useful way for um, doing this more virtual type surveying here in the office from scan data. So you're going to click in the feature code box, choose your codes, so edge of pavement, and um, start. Um, I was able to enter in multiple codes because I have this multi-code mode turned on. And now I just very simply click somewhere in the, in the point cloud, hit enter on my keyboard, and now I have a point created for my edge of pavement start. I'll come up here to the feature code, remove the start um, indicator there, and continue drawing in my edge of pavement. Okay. Um, so Measure Codes is very useful for, um, for not only measuring you know, individual points, but also when you're in an instance shooting topo or, or an as-built or something where you are constantly changing your code. So, um, so we're going to demonstrate switching over to a uh, utility. Let's go ahead and actually this is under my water utilities. I have a uh, sanitary manhole that I want to shoot. So I'm going to edit my edge of pavement and instead choose my sanitary manhole point. And I have a sanitary manhole here. And you can 
can see I have a symbol created for my sanitary manhole, so that automatically populates in there really quickly. And um, so now I can switch back to my backup curb, which is under my Dylan demo code group. So I'm going to choose backup curb. I can also edit the string number by clicking on the plus or minus button. And this is going to be the start of my backup curb. I'm going to start this, let's just say right there. And I actually made a mistake there. I'll come back and fix that in a second. I should have deleted that start indicator. Okay, so that's enough points to draw there on the back. Again, I just did that really quickly to get the point across. So um, if I need to come back and, and edit that code, um, I would just simply um, come up here to my points. Now there's several ways to do this actually. Come up here to my points, find the point number, it's like number 39. Come in here and edit this to back a curve one without the start control code. So really easy and quick to do that. So that should uh, be a quick uh, demonstration. Hopefully that uh, makes sense there for using the measure codes dialog um, and how that works. Now if you want to process your feature coded line work, we just come up here to our survey tab, choose process feature codes choose keyed in block as our source and choose process sources. Now I have some line work drawn in for those points that I shot. Turn off the point cloud to show you that. There you go. Thanks for joining us for this tech talk. Um, hopefully you learned something beneficial and will join us again next time.